Hello everyone and welcome back to Factorio. Now today to begin with I'd like to show you a few machines that I made just because. See the thing is is that I really like to... I, I really enjoy these kinds of like crafting games because you can tinker with stuff. You know you can build these machines and just while you're fooling around I often ask myself these questions like can I do this? Can I can I make a machine that is for this? And the answer is always Yes, that's why I really like these games, because there's always, it's always yes. But the question of how will often elude me. <laughs> and so I tinker with things, and, I'm, and, I, and, I, and I have fun trying to like figure it out like it's a little puzzle. So um, just while I was fiddling, <laughs> you know, making sure everything is like upkept, I, uh, I asked myself two questions. First... Man, I sure am making a whole lot of fast transport belts. Can I make a machine that makes that is just specifically for transport belts so that I don't like interrupt this or anything? Cuz that's what I usually do. I usually have uh an extension off of this piece to make the uh fast transport belts, sort of like how I did over here and I and I linked this part over here to make the blue research. But I usually find that that's too slow and it eats up too much of the stuff and it makes the green research come out so much slower and that's the one I need a whole lot of. So I'm like, can I make a machine just for this? And so I, I came over here and I tinkered and this is what I came up with. So very simply, iron goes in here and it goes on to this loop track. And so it feeds into this one and this one and rotates back through here and back to the very beginning so that it's always on a on a loop that can be accessed by everything. Uh, in here go, is made the gears, the gears are on a loop, it also it goes into this one and into this one because that's where it needs to go and then it goes right back to the beginning again. So we have the gears being made, we have the normal roads being made and that goes into this one which makes the fast transport belts which come out here. Yay! It's fairly simple, it works fairly well. Only problem I really have with it is that it prioritizes uh, gears, but that's fine. It's not really a hassle because there is a maximum amount. It's not like a chest where it fills up and up and up and up. No, there's a, there's a maximum amount of gears that can go onto this track, and so it's it's fine. And it usually will equal, it, uh, equal itself out because these take a while to make, so it'll just eat up. The, uh, the gears and whatnot, because I believe you do need more gears than other things. We need one gear there, and yeah, five gears here, so it's five to two, was, wasn't was it five, five to two, five to one? Yeah, five to one ratio, so it's fine. Uh, the other question I asked myself was, can I make a machine that is one machine that makes all three researches without, you know, one sucking all of the resources from the other. Because that's sort of the problem I have with this one. I keep on having to destroy these roads because blue is sucking off so much of the resources away from green that green slows down so much that I have to just fiddle with it constantly. Just constant fiddling on top of refueling. Thing is, I never tried to make a machine even close to that before. So uh, I did some fiddling, and here is my first attempt. And it works. It's just not very pretty. <laughs> so let, let me just do the quick rundown. This is actually out of iron, because it uses iron like nobody's business. So... Very simple. It's five chests that fuel everything. One iron chest, one copper chest, one battery chest, one steel chest, one plastic chest. Fuels the whole thing. So, this is going to be confusing, but it works, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> so, first, the iron goes out here, and after, again, gears fill up, and... Gears have to go to a lot of stuff, so it's fine that it fills up. Same sort of ratio equivalence. So, the iron will go here. It'll be split. Part of it will go over there into uh, making inserters. And then part of it goes up. 
Another part of it goes down into making the electronic circuits. And then the third goes way the hell over here to work on the fast inserters. That's just the iron. The iron is then crafted into uh, freaking gears which split off three freaking ways. One to make the science pack, another to make the inserters, and another to make the roads. The roads and the inserters, uh, the roads just go to the science pack too. However, the inserters are split off again, one to the inserter and then one into the fast inserter, which then is brought over to the filter inserter, which is then brought over to the blue, the science three, blue science. So that's just the iron track. <laughs> the copper track is similarly complicated. Part of, it, part of it goes to the copper cable. Copper cable goes all the way over here and is used in this one. And it is used in... So it's used for the two different circuits. Uh, the circuits are also split. One of them going up here for the, uh, for the normal inserter. And then the other track going down here being used for the other kinds of inserter and for the advanced circuit. So it's being split four ways, but thankfully I didn't have to split it nearly as much as I had to split the uh, the gears. I could just do it on one road. Uh, where was I? <laughs> Red Science ends there. It's very simple to make, so it's just roped going straight on. Uh, and then these, obviously, they are all just one sort of thing. Uh, I was kind of sad that I had to, uh, place these chests right in the middle of the darn thing, but nothing else uses these resources except for this thing and this thing. They, they're the only ones that use those resources, and I, I can't make them here. I just can't make them on site. Uh, partially because batteries and plastic at least need to use oil and I'm not going to connect the frickin oil refinery to the other side of my goddamn factory I just can't do it uh, steel I could but iron already gets used so monumentally much more than copper that there's no way it would be able to fuel everything else. So I'm just having to transport that on track. But that's fine, because that is still all three sciences being made in one machine with only five boxes. One box for each resource. So it works. It's not pretty. <laughs> it may not be the most efficient. But it works. And it works fairly well, actually. I haven't had too much problems getting everything resources. This goes a little bit slow, but it goes really slow already anyway. <laughs> so it's really not that much of a problem. Really all I wanted this to be capable of is to compensate for all of the fiddling I have to do with the other one without me having to fiddle, which it succeeds at gloriously. <laughs> I don't have to mess with it at all. All they have to do is make sure it's fueled, which isn't a hassle. The only real hassle is that it uses iron so, 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 so much. And every, all of my machines use iron so, 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 so much that uh, I just, I never have enough iron anymore. And I'm actually contemplating getting, like, putting more furnaces and then using... Uh, filter inserters to make sure they only make iron. The problem with that is that this is already too many furnaces for this simple little sorting system thing I have going. It simply can't get the resources into chests fast enough. And the the stack inserters, it won't do it for the roads. At least I assume it won't because it's not in stacks. They have to do it individually. And waiting for them to be in stacks wouldn't make it go faster. So, really, it's just a conflict of how the hell do I get more iron? And I think the answer to that is to make more electric furnaces on this side and use filter inserters to make sure that it only gets iron 
and then put them into separate chests here. Or, alternatively what I could do is have uh, electric furnaces here that get both of them and pipe them directly back here into the system. At which point it is going as fast as it could possibly go because it is getting its own independent source of resources. Which I could do. Alternatively, I have these resources down here. Do you see them? A little mixing of, of iron and copper. Way more iron than there is copper. But hey, that works. And I could set up miners down there, bring up the furnaces to be here, and pipe them directly into the resources, and it would be easier because they're closer. And I think that is the one I'm going to do. And I have the power to do it. I still have plenty of excess power to fiddle with these machines. So, I think that's what I'm going to do in between this episode and the next episode. So, in uh, the next... Let me just show you the research I'm going to do between episodes. Because these are starting to take a really freaking long time. They're not going to be done in the space of one episode. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to research alien technologies just so I can have the fourth science pack. Now, to actually get them, you have to go attack the alien hives, which I'm not even close to ready to do yet, but I want to go ahead and get the research done. Uh, I also want to research Automation 3 and get the new assembling machine, which go faster than, than the assembling machines too, and take up more power, which means more speed, more power, more urgency to make more power, and I'm making things quicker. Win, win, win. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to get the alien thing done, and I'm going to get the tool belt. What the tool belt does is it actually doubles up my little inventory space down here with another row of shit I can put on my bar. Which I need because I'm getting so sick of having to open up my inventory, find the thing, put it on the hot bar, forget it's on my hot bar, open it back up again, look for it, completely can't find it, oh wait, it's on my hot bar. So I'm going to do those three things between episodes. Set up an independent resource source for this wonky ass machine, research alien technology, and research the tool belt. If I come up with any new wonky ideas, I will not be able to resist fiddling with it, but I will show you at the beginning of the next episode, like I did, spending the entire episode showing you the My Machines for <laughs> for between the last episode. Alright. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody!